So we now try to understand this simple solution that we have for uh, diffusion with first order reaction, first order elimination. Um, we want to understand this more in the context of drug diffusion in tissue in, uh, and specifically its steady state dopamine diffusion with elimination in brain tissue. So that's where the parameters are coming from. If we plot this solution for two different values of M, two different values of this M. So what is M? M is square root of k double prime over d so one for a larger values of larger value of m compared to the other and so m large means it's for a uh, faster reaction or for a lower diffusivity so what are the implications of this case when M is higher or for a, a situation where um, the drug is being used up uh, faster or it is slow diffusing. Concentration at a distance, so concentration at a distance uh, can reduce drastically. So concentration before for lower values of M was this and for higher values of m is this so there's quite a bit of reduction in the concentration so if we need a particular concentration of drug for efficacy at a certain distance that may not happen what's the other implication the other implication is so that's one and the other one is the flux will increase. Why would the flux increase? Because everywhere the concentration is lower. It's lower everywhere. So if it is lower than at the surface, then the flux is going to be higher because the slope is going to be higher. So in other words, in this case, in the case of larger M, you'll have the, a higher rate of drug delivery. So higher rate of drug going into um, the tissue in comparison to the case when uh, the M value is smaller. So we have said qualitatively that the flux at the surface increases in presence of reaction. We should now check this with our solution. So first, just to recap, when there is no reaction, then flux at x equal to 0 at the surface is basically flux anywhere because uh, the flux is the same. So I can calculate that using Fick's law as minus d times concentration at 2 minus concentration at 1 divided by the distance L, which gives me D times C A0 over L. Now, when there is reaction, we can get the flux at the surface by taking the derivative of concentration at x equal to 0. So, derivative of the concentration solution. Uh, so th this is my general solution. So I'm not trying to use the the um, you know the more restricted exponential solution. This is the general solution. So I need to take the derivative of this quantity to get the flux. So the derivative of this dCa dx is equal to C A zero times minus E raised to minus ML over E raised to ML minus E raised to minus ML times M E raised to MX 
plus m e raised to minus m x minus m e raised to minus m x all of this quantity evaluated at x equal to 0 so if we do that and then plug in the formula for flux so flux at x equal to 0 is minus da dc dx at x equal to 0 that's again my fixed law so for dc a d dx at x equal to 0 i plug this in and then i get this quantity where all i have done is divided and multiplied by l otherwise this quantity is um, all of this quantity other than the d is coming from here okay so this is my flux now whereas without reaction this was my flux so this flux for this one to be higher this ratio this ratio has to be greater than 1 if it is greater than 1 then we could say this flux is higher so we need to check this ratio so to check this ratio now uh, no, let's see we look at two different extremes ml very small and the other one is ml uh, very large so when ml is small i can write that expression as the exponential i can write it in terms of a, a fourier series or an approximation as 1 plus ml likewise the other one is 1 minus ml and so in the denominator it's 1 plus ml minus 1 minus ml so let's see what we get so this cancels out and we get m we get ml times 2 over 2 ml which is equal to 1 so when ml is very small then the ratio uh, kind of uh, approaches 1 when ml is very large then we can write this uh, uh, very simply if ml is very large then e to the minus ml kind of goes to 0 so we have the ratio is equal to ml times e to the ml plus 0 over e to the ml minus 0 so is equal to ml so for large values of ml then the ratio is ml if we go to the next uh, to, to back to our slide then for the small values of m uh, then we have this ratio approaching 1 and for larger values of m uh, ml then this is uh, as large as ml is so which means th this uh, fraction is always one or higher which means the flux here is always um, at least equal to the flux without reaction or higher so we now make an additional observation on flux so and that is the mass flux with reaction is not the same at two locations even though we are at steady state a mass flux here is not equal to mass flux here you can see this because flux has to do with slope 
and the slope is not the same at these two points. You can convince yourself by plugging in for CA and seeing that flux is really a function of X. However, can we see this just from, from the physics of it? Why is this so? If we think of a layer like that, so let's say uh, we are thinking of this layer, okay? The amount coming in cannot be equal to the amount going out because some of the drug, some of the species got used up. So because we have consumption here, because we have a source term or a, a, a negative generation term, uh, you know, we cannot have the same flux here and here. If we had a positive generation term, that is also true, but the profile, of course, would be very uh, different. So to summarize then, uh, so two different uh, things, uh, two different uh, changes uh, that uh, are of great consequence in the presence of a first order reaction. So first is concentration profile is not linear, but uh, is, is, uh, is, um, is a curve where the slope in this case keeps uh, do dropping. And so the concentration really decays faster. So concentration decays faster, that is one. And then the flux at the surface is higher here. So those are the two big differences between without reaction and with reaction.